Hey YouTube, what's good? It is your girl Dom and I'm back with another video, man. So, we got another karma video for you guys, bro. Um, I ain't did one of these in like a couple weeks though, because I've been, you know, trying to diversify. I did a couple, you know, music video reactions. They was pretty cool, but you know, copyright, copyright, copyright. Half of them I couldn't even post. But anyway, if you missed those, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button. Go ahead, click the channel. Go ahead, check them joins out. But anyway, about to get into this 15 instant karma moments caught on camera. Make sure you hit that like button, bro. Make sure you hit that subscribe. And uh, we're going to get into this, man. Karma, a word that roughly translates to action, is a core concept in some Eastern religions. Though its specifics are different depending on the religion, karma generally denotes the cycle of cause and effect. Each action mm -hmm. a person takes will affect him or her at some point in time in the future. Today, people use the word karma in ways that are not wholly consistent with its traditional meaning. For example, karma is often misused to denote luck, destiny, or fate, or a way to explain sudden hardships. With karma, like causes produce like effects that if anybody ever did that to me bro i don't know if you caught that this man took a ashtray and tossed it on ball i knocked you the fuck out is a good deed will lead to a future beneficial effect Hell no. while a bad deed will lead to a future harmful <laughs> effect and what the heck happened in the i've seen that video on instagram reminders? See? See? Now that's karma. Keep messing with that dog. That's what you get. Number 15. Don't celebrate too early. On one fateful eve during a youth basketball game in Japan, it appeared as if one team was going to win. For all intents and purposes, the team in white should have walked away with a win after the free throw shooter had ice in his veins and sunk two free throws to go up 49-48. That's where the problem started. Rather than defending the pass with two seconds to go, the team was too busy celebrating, which once again, for all intents and purposes, should have been a win. However, as all games go, nothing is over until the last second runs off the clock. Mm. With time running out, a young man on the black team threw up a one-handed, full-court shot as he Yo! tried for a miracle. Yo! <laughs> the length of the court for a game-winning buzzer beater. The team in the white ended up walking yes, out with their heads Ah, you funny as shit. <laughs> young bull tossed the fuck out that the shit. Started. Rather than defending the pass with two seconds to go, the team was too busy celebrating, See? which once again, you for nuts. all intents and purposes, should have been a win. <laughs> However, as all games go, nothing uh, is over until the last second shit. runs off the clock. With time running out, a young man on the black team threw up a one hand. Yo, he beamed that shit. As he aimlessly tried for a miracle. Lucky Look, behold, it went yo. in. The kid throws it one handed the length of the court for a game winning <laughs> buzzer beater. The team in white ended up walking out they with their heads held as hell. Look at her face. She's like, oh a very my God. important lesson in youth sports. Play to the whistle and don't celebrate until Bro, the game is over. Facts. They thought it was over, but it wasn't. Y'all saw as hell. Make that mistake again. <laughs> also, give credit to the kid. <laughs> I bet number four got a fucking parade and shit. <laughs> That's what y'all get. Making that incredible shot. Now, let's get ready for today's <laughs> That's what y'all get. Though octopuses are formidable uh, fighters in the wild, they aren't typically dangerous to people. That doesn't mean they're uh, always shit. harmless. Some species are particularly well equipped for defending themselves against larger creatures, and they're mm. strong enough to kill a human if they feel threatened. Although oh, wow. this appears to be the ocean getting its revenge on a deep sea diver in a moment of instant karma, this image has actually fooled many people across the internet. It's actually the display at Deep Sea Gardens in Newport, Oregon. Wow. A scuba diving attraction that closed down. They always trying to trick some people. Just like I seen this one um this one video about this guy who thought somebody was actually hanging off the roof, but it was a remake of a movie. Bruh. Stop doing that to people. Back in 2019. But that doesn't mean karma won't intervene if you mess with these mighty creatures. Comment below using the hashtag open discussion. Before we oh, move on, that's what that was. I was like, that wasn't a subscribe. That wasn't a karma moment. Today, it, this clown, will appear oh, under your bed tonight. I was saying that wasn't a Number karma 14, moment. Number <laughs> 14. 
1973, spoon-bending psychic Uri Geller appeared on The Tonight Show and walked into a trap set by host Johnny Carson and the magician-slash-skeptic James the Amazing Randy. It was one of the great gotcha moments in TV history. Is a magician a skilled deceiver, a performer who makes you disbelieve your own eyes, or does a magician have superhuman abilities? Geller said he could bend spoons and house keys because of his psychic powers. Randy said, more or less, that Geller was a fake and sabotaged Geller's performance on national TV. As word of Geller's extraordinary feats reached America, one man of real power decided to put him to the test, Johnny Carson. The Tonight Show host was an amateur magician in his own right and brought Geller on his show to prove his claims of psychic ability. Unbeknownst to Geller, Carson reached out to James the Amazing Randy for tips on how to ensure that Geller would really use his mind. Randy came through with mind-bending advice, switching out Geller's spoons and various other props with store-bought versions of the same objects. Carson watched with the rest of the country as Geller attempted to impose the power of his mind on the objects, and nothing happened. <laughs> After the commercial break, Carson pantomimed true boredom as Geller utterly failed to do a single magical act. <laughs> All tonight, right now, I'm feel I'm feeling being pressed, and then I can't. Well, I'm not can't trying like to press you. I really not. But, yeah. <laughs> Number thirteen. So basically, he just brought Bull on to clown him and to debunk him. Like you ain't real. You all cap, and he did. <laughs> he receives a dose of karma. It was at that point midway through the second period of an important hockey game that an mm -hmm. otherwise random high-sticking incident took place involving Blackhawks player Steve Sullivan and Avalanche forward Alex Tangay. As Tangay attempted to clear the puck out of the Avalanche zone, his stick inadvertently clipped Sullivan in the face, leaving a cut on the bridge of his nose. Mm. When Sullivan skated back to the bench, slumped over and in pain with a towel to his face, a glass banger in the front row decided to start heckling the injured forward. It did not go unnoticed by Sullivan. A good way for a player to silence a heckler is to do something during the game that impacts the result. For a few minutes, it looked like Sullivan might be able to do just that. It turned out to be the best. Google Finds Come on now, he talk, he doing a lot of talking. Coverage. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know what happened, bro. <laughs> like, best way to get even for Sullivan in this. Case I appreciate the video the though. Don't get me wrong. The favor. With this second period coming to a close, a player attempted to clear the puck off the glass and accidentally put it in the stands where it hit an unsuspecting fan in the head. You'll never guess which fan it ended up hitting. That's right, the heckler. <laughs> Number two, Was it? They didn't say who, though. See, you, you, how you going to do that? You ain't going to say that that the dude who hit him was, you know he did that shit on purpose. Come on now. Give us the real tea. Fuck. Oh, no littering. When it comes to cleaning up the streets, one Russian biker took matters into her own hands. Armed with nothing more than her camera and a streetwise attitude, the leather-clad woman is making an example of litter louts and taking them on at their own game. My thing is, what's the point of littering though? What is the point of just throwing it out your window? I be seeing people, they throw their whole food out. Like you just order takeout or like order McDonald's or whatever, and then you just toss shit out the window. You really can't wait to find a trash can to put that shit in? Like for real, for real? Whether it be a carelessly tossed cigarette butt or bottles chucked out of a window, drivers had better check their rear view mirrors and think again, lest this not playing games garbage girl catches up with you. Video not footage garbage girl. enough. The biker spots someone lighting up in their car. Despite being spitting distance from a trash can, the offender decided to simply empty her ashtray. The cyclist heads over to the car with its driver completely oblivious to what crime had just been committed. The biker picks up the ashtray, which is loaded with butts, and tosses the entire contents through the window of the car. Before she even has time to react, the refuse refuser is off again looking for her next target. This time, it's the male driver of... See. See. I understand, like, bitch, the trash can's right there. You know what I'm saying? But if you... If you think I won't chase you down in my car after you do that to me, bro, yo, I'm liable to run you the fuck over, my guy. You got me twisted. I don't care, garbage girl. You will be ditch girl oh, by the time I'm done with you. 
of a silver car who is about to face the oh, rat. No. A black bottle is thrown <coughs> deliberately onto the road just as the biker approaches. The biker takes the discarded drink bottle to his car's mirror, much to his disbelief. Within seconds, the biker spots the junk driver and races to intervene. Speeding off safely on her bike, she motors away in search of her next trash dropping target. So Come she up. so you mean to tell me this girl just goes around town? That's her job to go around town and toss shit in people's cars. So she's a litter bug too. Garbage bitch. <laughs> Just that each of these three scenarios were set up deliberately. Either way, there's a lesson to be learned. Number 11. Reporter hits pole. Reporter Kent Mogot just wanted to be known for his hard hitting reporting. He's hard hitting hit reporting. Hard. <laughs> he's 25 years of experience, Kent Mogot is used to chasing the story, but when the story hits back in a form of a wayward story, <laughs> reporter becomes the story, uh, that's something new. Video of Mogot chasing a lawyer for an interview and then walking straight into a poll has gone viral, joining a long, <laughs> proud history of television news bloopers. Oh my God, that hurt, Mogot exclaimed claims in the video after walking right into the light pole the lawyer previously trying to make as you get that's what you get <laughs> i bet you do but brisk escape stops to check on him the video has been see the lawyer didn't want to answer no questions anyway that's what your reporter get that's what your reporting ass get Leave him alone. <laughs> up by numerous media as, outlets, and as as it goes to show you, of times on YouTube, leave people alone. Post, CTV British Columbia's Okanagan bureau chief admits he's still a bit fuzzy, but Morgat seems to suggest the pain was worth it. I've looked at the video about 50 times and I still laugh, he said. He said that everyone he showed the video also wanted to show their friends and voila, you have yourself a viral video. He says people ask about his heart <laughs> because he had some visible bruising and cuts, but he says that's mostly Excuse because me. he wanted his permission Shit. to laugh. And the rest is painful, some viral history. <laughs> Number 10. One lap out. Talk about a rookie mistake. One of Italy's top motorcycle riders made a cringeworthy error at a 2012 Italian championship race in Tuscany when he started celebrating his I win think I saw this. That he had another lap it was another line. lap to go. And He's steady celebrating. Racer, Ricardo Russo, it was all caught on tape. <laughs> Russo was leading the race by just three bike lengths. When he reached the start of the final lap, the viral video shows Russo start to slow down there, release his bike's throttle, and throw his arms up in victory. He then stands up on his foot pegs of his bike and begins fist pumping, as you do when you've won the race. But as the seasoned rider basks in what he believes to be well-deserved glory, the other riders <laughs> fly past him, rushing to the actual finish line. That's the what the fuck you get. could barely believe what he was witnessing. He's celebrating, and I think this race is still going Saudi on here. Saudi is not realized. He shouts, unfortunately for Russo, his misjudgment results in him dropping from first place to 14th. The commentator Damn. is aghast at the mistake. Luckily, All Russo, the way to 14th place. the first place? racer to make such an embarrassing blunder. Spanish motorcycle racer Julian Simon blew his lead during the Catalonia in Spain in 2009 when he prematurely began celebrating his victory a lap before the end of the race. And I think this race is still going on. Saudi as hell. Well, either he's wrong My thing is, though... How you not going to look at all the rest of the people riding around? They all concentrating. <laughs> going fast as hell. And you steady up there celebrating. And he kept looking back like you didn't notice something was wrong. You didn't peep the situation, bro. You know what I'm saying? You didn't gauge the temperature in the room, my nigga. Come on now. Number nine. Scott Haney eats cat vomit. The truly cringeworthy incident was broadcast live on a CBS affiliate in Hartford, Connecticut. What started out as a typical news report by four reporters took a turn for the nasty when weatherman Scott Haney scooped up and devoured a handful of cat phlegm off the newsroom floor. In the video, Haney apparently mistakes the feline bile for someone's discarded grape nuts. They're a little soggy and they taste like shoes. I think that might be dog. Google Fi, a phone plan by Google. Ew. Duty, Haney said as he munched on the moist and gushy morsels. Later in the news report, Haney refers to the incident as trending and explains the mystery behind the newsroom cat vomit. He repeats hilariously, those were not grape nuts that I ate. <laughs> those were not grape nuts that I ate. Oh. My cat threw up. 
Bro. How did a cat throw up in the newsroom, though? Ew, and I must bro. have stepped in it. He says, I ate cat vomit right here on television. I thought it was grape nuts. I ate cat vomit. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. It writes itself, people. It remains unclear what possessed Haney to dine on something he found on the newsroom floor in the first place. Okay. He nasty anyway. Eating shit up off the floor. You still doing that? 2021, we still eating shit up off the floor, people? I just saw this picture of these bitches with a toilet bowl Sunday with two straws. Come on now. This is not the age of being trifling. It's a whole pandemic going on. Like, we're in the entire fuck. I'm sick of niggas. And then detail his mistake to the... And I say niggas as ignorant people. Okay? That's really niggas. Niggas can be all shades. World, the forecast... I said what I said. a slight chance of, oh, heck no. And what did I no. just watch? Oh, hell Scott no. Haney will never eat grape nuts again. And cat vomit, that's all. We eat grape well. nuts any fucking way. Number eight. Man talking <laughs> full payback. In a clip uploaded to the World Wide Web, yeah, the man that's decided what he to get. taunt a sand-colored pit bull tied up to a fence nearby. The man, wearing a thin, long sleeve shirt, he, jeans, he messing with trainers, the, and a bright he messing with the makes dog. the dog increase. Okay, why did you describe his whole fit to us, bro? Like, um, we see that? I'm the A. A. Increasingly aggravated by running up to it, then quickly retreating. Like he's choking him. Like you keep having the, a, the keeps dog. Going, of course, he runs from flailing left to himself right like around. A crazy person. At one point, the dog attempts to pull away from the fence so hard its lead retracts and causes it to fall over. However, the man doesn't. Ah. Karma is a pit bull, and it's about to come for him. The unexpected happens. Bitch the pit ass bull, nigga, using all its might and strength, manages to That's pull what its you lead get. off. And after a moment of disbelief, it charges straight for the man. The man. Wearing only thin he felt that the dog was like, wait, it's happened, off. Yes. To run away. Unfortunately, uh -huh. his getaway isn't quick enough as the dog Hell catches no. up with him. And, well, they you get back to real, bruh. Number seven, <laughs> San Diego. <laughs> That's what the fuck failed. you get for so messing with the dog. I hate people that mess with animals. Like, period. Like, what did they do to you? They was here before us. Like, leave them the fuck alone. They're not bothering nobody. We're bothering them. Let's just be real. Fox News morning broadcast from San Diego, uh, California. The producers it's clearly like... had a great idea. They had their presenter at the San Diego Yacht and Boat Show standing next to a man with a revolutionary aqua jet pack. They were going mm -hmm. to start the show by having aqua oh, jet I think I've seen this. I think I've seen this one. I think I've seen this when he dropped. More rehearsal. <laughs> more likely, it was the operator who wasn't quite ready to push the right button when the producer <laughs> told him he was live. Whatever the reason, the man with the pack plummets straight into the water, almost taking the very fine and brave TV presenter with him. <laughs> Meant as a simple gimmick to lead into the broadcast, the man was supposed to say something about how this is your morning news and then blast up into the sky using the jets on his pack. But instead, because he's he was it. pointing the powerful streams of water in the wrong direction, he knocks himself off the pier, nearly drowning in the San Diego <laughs> Harbor. That's the short version of the video. It's not funny that he almost drowned, but... <laughs> If you seen the video, Yo, bro, you know that shit was funny, man. After the first clip, when the camera cuts back to the Fox host, that were lucky enough to stay in the studio, <laughs> unable to contain themselves, the anchors spend several seconds, heads buried in hands. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and it starts right now. <laughs> Number six. Megan Rutledge, uh, 18-year-old Megan Rutledge was excited that she was on her way to an ooh. easy gold medal win at the Summer X Games over the weekend when she made the decision to fist pump in celebration before the finish line. Unfortunately for Rutledge, that resulted in her coming down awkwardly on the bike and crashing as she watched her competitors fly by the finish line. See? I celebrated a bit too early and made a mistake, said Rutledge via ESPN.com. If I had stayed on the bike, there was no way I could have lost. I had one straight to go, but but, you know, mistakes happen. Unfortunately, no, dumb mistakes happen. Showboating happens. You know what I'm saying? Doing too much happens. Being salty as hell happens. Losing happens in your case. 
Unfortunately for young Megan, taking her hand off the bike caused her to lose control. Uh, as the bike nosedived, she landed awkwardly, allowing damn, her rival to steal the lead. that's Saudi as fuck. When the event finished, it was arch rival Vicky Golden who took gold for the third year in a row, while a clearly deflated Rutledge was left with mascara stained tears streaming down her face. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't funny, but it is. <laughs> the depths of defeat, an announcer said of the devastated rider after the race. Rutledge See? took silver. Unbelievable turn of events. Look at the dejection. Uh -huh. Hey, look. You see how the other girl dancing? The mystery of Al Capone. So you see how the other girl like, ah, and she like, ah, Miss Dance, what you get? Mmm, I won, I won. <laughs> see, karma for your ass, bro. Karma's quick and it's a bitch. It's vaults. For gangland aficionados, it was almost as good as the Super Bowl. In 1986, nearly 30 million viewers tuned in to the mystery of Al Capone's vaults, a live primetime excavation hosted by Geraldo Rivera that promised to dig deep into the catacombs of the criminal's hotel hideout on Chicago's south side. For two hours, Rivera shouted over power tools, ignited dynamite, took target practice with a submachine gun, and teased the possibility of finding money, weapons, or the decayed corpses of Capone's rivals. For Rivera, it represented an opportunity to rekindle a career that had stalled following a highly publicized departure from ABC after 15 years with the network. As it mm. turned out, the networks were right to be wary. What the excavators found, ultimately, was nothing pile of dirt and a few empty bottles no bones no loot no time see he spent all that time and money all that time all that money all them resources for nothing <laughs> All reporters ain't good reporters. This is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> fedoras. For two hours in prime time, Rivera hosted what amounted to a remedial documentary about gangsters <laughs> and prohibition, complete with vintage clips and photos and interviews with historians. Capped off by a few minutes at the end where he sheepishly admitted they'd wasted everyone's time. Four, seriously, no littering. Unless you've lived under a rock your whole life, you know that littering is bad. We are told about the billions of dollars. Is this really the the uh, uh, the dumpster the girl or the, um, the, the uh, uh, trash chick people still do or the, uh, what's again, her name? There have been incidents where people have been caught throwing garbage out of their vehicles. While yeah, bro, that shit is like it's done. Viral. This time, the clip is of a biker who decided to teach a woman leaving trash in the. Wasn't it a biker last time? Maybe I'm tweaking. Streets a lesson. The 39 second video features a car parked at a traffic signal in Beijing, China. Soon after, the window of the car rolls down and trash is thrown from it. Noticing the littering act, a, a whole big ass bag of trash decides to take things into her own hands. Instead of driving by, the biker stops her vehicle next to the car, picks up the trash, and throws it back into the car. <laughs> Fun fact according to the study by Green Echo Services, that's not how the story ends for everyone. About 25,000 accidents are caused in the US by litter each year seriously that's so what I'm saying please, like you can't find a place to it's dumb as hell you be riding down the street and motherfuckers throw I've seen motherfuckers throw a whole, like whole McDonald's bag you see fries coming down it's like bitch you throw a whole CVS bag full of shit out your car are you really that lazy or that inconsiderate that you can't wait to find a trash can seriously The fuck? Fast food. It's 2021. Like, it's time for these people to change their attitude towards shit. Stop trashing the planet and start saying. It's clearly, the weather's clearly the fuck off. If that ain't global warming, then what is it? Somebody explain to me what the fuck it is. Because when it's hot, it's hot as fuck. And when it's cold, it's cold as fuck. And when it's raining, it's raining hard as hell. Fuck. And that can be all in one day or one week. Shit. Saving it. 
Number three, you're not getting your drink. As seen in video of the incident, two men roll up toward the drive through window to pick up their order. As the woman reaches out to hand them their drink, the driver loudly beeps the car's horn to scare her. For what? The restaurant employee visibly jumps and looks startled before tossing the customer's credit card back at him and throwing the entire large soda through the car's window. Yep. The customer then attempts to throw it back, but the employee is too quick and has already forcefully slammed the drive through window. The soda soaks the whole interior of the car. That's the what you get. Entire outfit. Why are you messing with? Why are we messing with people in the drive through that, that does what, our food? They're dealing with your food. They get paid bullshit ass wages to do extreme work extreme work hella 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 lot doing so much shit do you think being a cashier at a fast food restaurant is just being a cashier they just stand there on the cash register and ring people up do you really believe that that's what people are doing then you're stupid a cashier would be ringing people up, cleaning the restaurant, restocking, uh, fucking cooking. The f man, shut that shit up. Essential workers, essential slaves. So what it feels like. That's what happens. <laughs> they get kind of mad. One of the men says it was all in good fun for the two pranksters, though. They laughed and didn't seem too upset by the practical joke going wrong. No, because we have a YouTube yeah. channel where they post clips of the prank. You know, good and well, they was mad. She tossed that soda bag up all on him. It went all in his car. It got on his phone and everything. Later you know he was mad. Up video to the fast food escapade responded to <laughs> negative comments, which accused them of being jerks. It's not a clever prank, but it was just for fun, one of the men said. Until we harm someone, you can't get mad. Talking about until we harm someone, you can't get mad. Why are you bothering her? You're annoying as she hell. Was. It's been viewed over 870,000 times. You're not getting your drink. Go. Yes, that's exactly Price what you payback. get. That loud ass horn. This shit, like, what the fuck? She trying to get your car and hand you your drink, and you going to beep the horn loud as the. I would do the same shit. Decided to take on a bison. She probably was ready to quit after that too. She was like, you know, I'm done. It is what it is. Put that on your YouTube page. <laughs> Through Yellowstone National Park, the animal wasn't impressed. Moreover, a shocked onlooker captured what happened next on camera, and it can only be described as karmic retribution. The road tripper in question, on his way across some of the United States' national parks in Yellowstone, famed for the hot springs and wildlife that lie within its boundaries, got caught up close and personal with a bison. It was an incident that he'd soon regret. In the video that circulated on social media, drunk guy from Pendleton, Oregon, can be seen making noises and gesturing towards a bison having a breather on the highway. You know how big a fucking bison is the with your dumb front. ass? And as she watched, the bison charged. We all saw that coming. Clearly irritated, the bison runs towards drunk guy, but he manages to move out of the way. After further provocation though, including making fists and growling at <coughs> the bison, the animal charges again in a more aggressive fashion. Now, why would you do that? How big is a fucking bison? Huge. That motherfucker big as shit. What's wrong with people, bro? Stops filming, saying that she can't watch. After an investigation by the National Park Service. I'm talking about you can't watch. Why well, record it? Just messed up the video for all of us. I want to see what happened to him. <laughs> it was revealed that this wasn't the first offense Reich had committed that week. He'd been arrested a few days earlier. In fact, for being drunk and disorderly in Grand Teton National Park. The judge the sentenced Reich to 130 days in jail and five years of probation. Num okay. If he was in jail two days prior and the jail sentenced him to all them days, how in the fuck did he get... Eh? Make that make sense for me in the comments.
Number one, don't <laughs> kick the dog. It's a short clip, but a clear reminder, karma Period. will get you in the end. This is the hilarious moment a drunk man in Russia aims a kick at a dog but misses and face plants into a car bumper. The karma retribution footage the filmed in Russia did. shows the man staggering right and left as he walks in the middle of a snow covered uh -huh. road. He pulls his leg back and swings wildly uh -huh. at the dog which approaches him but makes no contact. Uh -huh. so he, thought the dog. The momentum of the kick causes the man to fall forward into the snow, <laughs> smashing a car's rear bumper. This is my thing is, what was that dog doing to you? What possessed you to try to kick that dog? That's what the fuck you get. You lucky he didn't bite your ass after you he you, after you did that when you dropped to your ass. Should have bit your ass. On his way to the ground, the man quickly gets up and walks away, clutching his head as the car's alarm goes off. Classic fail. So those were 15. Wait, that one is in an alarm. I didn't see no car. Did you see a car? It looked like it was in the middle of a restaurant. I don't see no car. Let me see. Let me just Get try that one more time. This is the hilarious moment. A drunk man in Russia aims a kick at a dog but misses and face plants into a car bumper. The karma retro. Yeah, see, I think he's commenting on the wrong video, bro. Because the whole time I was looking like. Where's the face plant and where's the car? Cause I clearly see a man try to kick a dude and land on his ass. And oh no. <laughs> Magic footage filmed in it's Russia okay. shows the man staggering right and left as he walks in the middle of a snow covered road. He pulls yeah, his see, leg no? back and swings wildly no, no at snow. a dog which approaches there's, him. There's no snow. No snow covered road here, okay? He's not staggering. But makes no contact, silly human. Yeah, he dog. didn't make no the contact. The momentum of the kick causes the man to see, fall whoop, forward into the snow, whoop. smashing a car's rear bumper on his way to the ground. Yeah, see, there's no car bumper. There's some bikes. It looks like an internet cafe. That's exactly what it the is. The man quickly gets up and walks away, clutching his head as the car's alarm No, goes. see, he's not clutching his head. He's clutching his bum bum. He got a rum tum in the bum bum. <laughs> he got fucked up is what he did. <laughs> was off classic fail. So yeah. those were 15 instant karma moments. So yeah, that was a classic fail. But anyway, still a, it's still a cool video. Appreciate you, bro. I'm going to have the original link to the video in the description. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me in this video. And I will catch y'all in the next one, bro. Peace.